Okay. Strength. Just as much strength as could possibly happen on our character. That's good. And then hit points. Yeah, okay, fine. Can't make those any smaller. All right. There we go. Good. Next. Here's where we're at. We are a warden that has 26 strength, 22 toughness. We're double muscled, multiple arms with two hearts. Yeah, let's roll. Let's just rip some stuff apart. Oh, cool, Alex. Well, that means we're getting closer. All right, we're going to start with Joppa because, heck yeah, Joppa. <laughs> Let's get into it. So, Alex, do you agree then that I shouldn't make a garden until I get better soil? get the hammer okay I was so excited um, with I accept fine I reconsidered I'm gonna accept it I was so excited hey Rob good evening my friend good to see you <laughs> how's it going we're doing great here Rob thanks for asking how are you doing all right let's check in the chest what you got yes we're sure Ooh, we got gloves and a shawl. Well, the shawl is terrible, but we can sell it. And there's some rubber gum, which God knows what. Maybe that sword is actually pretty decent. What kind of a sword do I have on right now? I have, well, I have an iron long sword. Now, here's a question for you. If I, okay, I... I have nothing in my hand, so can I just... Yeah, let's put this other longsword in there. Oh, Alex, I was so excited with the fertilizer that I thought I was going to be able to make from the stuff that I found in the cave, the salt. But now I realize maybe it's still not worth it, even on... I have to have better soil. So I'm going to... Because I have multiple arms, you'll see I have a right hand a left hand, another right hand, and another left hand. How about that? So that's pretty sweet. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, I mean, the shawl, meh. Let's see, what else did we pick? We picked up some other stuff though, right? We picked up, oh, these gloves. Yeah, 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 wear this, equip it. What is this? It just says, Gives you cold resistance at the expense of a dodge. Ah, we don't want that. We don't need that. Okay. So, great, great. Let's see what else we can get here in Joppa. Nothing happened in there. Don't even worry about it. All right, it's fine. Close that door. What you got? Yes, arrows. Not what I was hoping for. What is the uh, ranged weapon you started me out with? No, no, I have the skill, but no weapon. Right, right, right. Okay. That's fine. Torch, bandage, metal sheet. Metal sheet? Get out of here. Hey, Necronth, good evening, my friend. Oh, cool. I'm glad you could be here live. Yep, we just started a new character too, Necronth. Um, the only rules, Kai, are just like, you know, no being mean to anyone. Keep it family friendly for the most part. Or as family friendly as you'd like to. Uh, let's look at this. There we go. We got the information. You know what, Trevor? I did feel that way, and then I didn't start in Joppa, 
and I regretted it. it. It's interesting, it does mix it up, but it changes the story and some other elements of the game, Trevor, if you don't start in Joppa. And Joppa just gives you such a nice kickstart. Like, there's all these items you can get, um, and these quests are pretty easy. So you get a lot of experience that way. But I think if I did find it was like just getting crazy, I would consider it as well. Just, you know, trying something else. All right. Apple mats. Oh, interesting, Alex. Okay. Thanks for the tip on the granite. All right. So we have ourselves quests for Red Rock and a artifact. And we actually didn't get an artifact yet, unfortunately. But we can trade with this guy. I want to see if Tam has any um, better armor. So he really doesn't. Unfortunately, he has a glow sphere, but I don't have anything that's quite good enough. And what else does he have? Man, that bronze longsword is really expensive. Oh, awesome, Necronth. I'm glad you're enjoying that. I agree, Trevor. I 100% I agree, my friend. It is kind of a, a drag, but it, it's just very reminiscent of uh, a lot like, you know, Tales of Magile or uh, Dungeon Crawl, where you just kind of have a path that you go on and you do the same, some of the same kind of stuff, except it's procedural to mix it up a little bit. Generally, Rob, in, unless um, the game has both systems in play. Like some games, Rob, will have psionics and magic, but for all intents and purposes, when I'm playing a game and I want to do magic and it's like a cyberpunk or some kind of future thing, psionics is just what I expect. Oh, that would be fantastic. Alex, I could make bread. All right. Um, he has a really nice bow, but we can get bows. All right, then let's just say thanks, but no thanks. And we're going to go out and we're going to go to Red Rock. And oh, we got lost. All right. Well, it happens to the best of us. Let's get out of here. Let's get back to let's just get back to Joppa. Oh, you fighting me, crocodile man? All right. Um. So we hit the shield, we hit the croc, and we killed the croc. Hey, more is all you need. What is up, my friend? Good evening. Isn't that true? Yes, you're right, Tube. It's like you, they're just making a game that they can play indefinitely for themselves. And to be honest, then I'm just reaping the, the benefits of that. You know what I mean? Like I'm just playing their pet project and enjoying it. So I'm just like, well, thank you. <laughs> I love it. And, oh, another crocodile coming at us. We are doing bad at getting our bearings. <laughs> it is, more. It's a great business practice. All right. So let's see if we can get our bearings back. I'll go down here. The croc is fighting the... Yeah, there we go. The plants. Yeah, we're... You discovered a secluded distillery. Do you wish to investigate it? Oh, heck yeah. 
exactly tube users i mean think about it tube like um dwarf fortress is pretty much you know that right like willfully ascii and then finally you know the marketing department you know stepped in when the tarn decided to do a steam release to to beautify it for the masses which I'm super excited about, by the way. Let's just check out this distillery. Maybe we can get some booze. This is where they make off-the-shelf um, apple mats. Hey, Casimir. Good evening, my friend. How's it going? Ooh, look at this. We discovered the distillery of Ushro Shruar, legendary Iker merchant. You note the location of the distillery in your journal. Well, I've always wanted to find this. Find your character on the screen. Um, if you hold Alt Tube, your character will be uh, blue. Hey, Don. Good evening. Oh my gosh, Don. Exactly. Those early Ultimas. I was playing, I think, the first Ultima, and man, it was like vector graphics in the dungeon. Amazing. Oh, cool, Casimir. Yeah, I hope it works okay. Yeah, so it's like friendlies are green, um, hostiles are red, and you're blue. Hey, Tony, good evening, my friend. It's very hard, Tony. It really is. But once you get some traction, my friend, um, it gets a little bit easier. But yeah, the learning curve is pretty steep, Tony. Totally feel you. Hey, Creativity Refresher. Oh, Ikor merchants sell quite unique liquids. Cool, thank you for telling me. I, I think this is the first time I've ever seen this. So let's go check it out. Let's go see what this is all about. Oh, cool, thank you, Casimir. All right, let's see. Where's the dude? Where's the merchant? Hey, what's hitting me? What? The thirst thistle? Get real. Uh-oh. I'm getting killed. By the thistle. No, don't kill me. Okay, we gotta run away. My god, I'm just trying to buy some legendary ichor. Can't a guy... Buy some ichor in peace? This shopkeeper needs to really, like, prune back his hostile plant life. Good idea, creativity. Maybe it was, because, I mean, the treasure chest looks like it's just laying around, right? All right, let me see about that. I know, the thirst thistle is like, you're dead. I got stuck, and... Oh, 500 drams of asphalt... Whoa, wicked. All right, well, um, let me see what I can explore here. Yeah, you know what it is. Uh, more is all you need. I don't have any rocks with this character, but I have the skill in bows and rifles, and I was really hoping just to get myself uh, a bow from a Snapjaw in Red Rock, but I got lost and then I found a distillery so I actually haven't ended up in Red Rock so I don't have anything real rangy here um alright luckily most of these things are cool there's a staircase down if I wanted to um get nuts Okay, here we go. Let me go back in. So, I'm going to just open this treasure chest. So, there's nothing in there. All right, that's too bad. I'm going to check out this treasure chest then, and I'm going to be away from that thistle. Nothing in there. No. All right. So, let's see if there's any items I can actually collect. Okay, there's wine. Wine is good. You can sell wine. You got that right, more. We're going to go for it. 
Um, no. Okay, fine. But I, let me see if I can see anything else. Do I see any people? I'm gonna take it. I don't see anybody. If this distillery is owned by a person, then, well, we're gonna have a little bit of disagreement. Let's see. I'm not gonna go that way. The thistle did more damage than I wanted. So, I'm, but I am gonna go check out over here. Okay, so there's a staircase I could explore. Um, let me walk around here. This asphalt is amusing. All right. Uh, are any of these guys like? What do you have? He doesn't have anything. Glow pad ain't the, ain't the dude. Nah. Alright. So sometimes, like, these fish are, like, the smart people. But it looks like this time, not so much. Alright. Okay. I know, Kai. I am a thief. I'm trying to get ahead trying to save the world all right i'm gonna pop out i'm gonna go to red rock and get some experience and we can come back to the distillery it's marked on our map i'm not gonna go down there and explore it though at this point like um more is talking about i don't have any range um oh alex it was super zen um doing power wash simulator my friend that was hilarious yeah, tube tome is easier to get into. It's more um, the just the presentation of it is more straightforward. I feel like. The gunslinger died fading from some beetle bums. I underestimated how many of them there were and how much damage they could do. This guy fading is I went the other way and made a mutant insanity monstrosity so this dude is like goro from mortal Kombat. i have four arms and 28 strength and 24 toughness i'm double muscled and i have two hearts so i'm looking to just smash things uh <laughs> as much as i can yeah they are sentient lily pads but unfortunately they didn't seem to be behind the whole distillery. I mean, they had they don't have any arms. They, they couldn't talk to me, so I had to move on. That's a great question, Kai. I'll tell you what. Um, if there seems to be interest in the game on the channel, then I'll definitely do it. I got two long swords, so let's check this out. This character has um, a long sword in his right hand and a long sword in his other right hand, and an iron buckler on one arm, and a torch in his lower left hand. And I got some gloves on my upper hands, bare hands on my lower hands. That's how things are working for this character at the moment. We're going in. Oh, cool, creativity. I'm glad that you enjoy it, my friend. I really, like, all I did there was try to take all of the knowledge that I've got from people in the chat who are really good at the game and my own deaths and try to package it into something that would help new players get into the game because it's such a cool game. But it is, it does have a high barrier to entry. All right, we just leveled up and the musical notes and the raindrops. All right, um, let's go ahead and bounce over. I don't think I'm going to spend mutations, but let's see what would happen if we did, right? Like, if I were to level this up, I would get um, a 17... So my chance to daze the opponent would go up slightly. It's not that great. Now, this raises... <laughs> Hilarious creativity i hope so um this boosts me by three percent to get the extra hit which is pretty reasonable and this lets you sprint longer so honestly none of this is like 
phenomenal. So I'm just going to save up my mutation points right now. Amoeba man coming at us. Let's just use our shield skill. Got him. 100% creativity. I love him. I put out a... I've been trying to do a bunch of guides for roguelikes that I enjoy recently. Uh, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup and Tales of Magile as well. It... RPG has historically been my favorite genre, but roguelikes have been, like, rocketing up to the top. Oh, hilarious, more Actually, yes. So I've played um, Cataclysm uh, a couple of times on stream. I think maybe actually three or four times on stream. I have a Let's Play series of it on the channel. And uh, Pizza and some other folk guided me through the beginning of that game. I'm still... I'm not great at that. I have a lot to learn, but that game is super fun. The stories are hilarious. I'm in suburbia rifling through people's abandoned uh, houses finding tuxedos and ill-fitting cowboy hats and having a great time. All right, I can't even shoot people. I need to get a bow. I, I guess I could pick up these rocks like you were saying before. That's a good point. Um, all right, let's just wait for this guy then. Come on over. Come on, level it up. There it is. Bam. All right, let's get... Let's get a... Eh, a boulder might be a little big to pick up, but we'll try it. We're strong as I'll get out. Dwarf Fortress is so good. Um, I actually haven't played NetHack. Yeah, let's get rocked for sure, more. I keep thinking I'm going to boot up Dwarf Fortress and play it on stream or play it on the channel, but... Then I'm like, no, I'll wait for the stream, uh, the Steam release of that, and it's just never coming out. All right, Tube. Thanks so much for stopping in, my friend. Great to see you. Have a great one. All right. Um, so when I look at what we've picked up, we have boulders which we can throw for a ton of damage. And I want to check out skills. So I have 100, right? And we're going to definitely just collapse pistol right now. We have the shield skill in that we have um, block and shield slam. Nothing else can we afford at the moment. We already have wayfaring. We can make camps. Um, but let's see. Uh, I mean, we probably need dual wield because we have so many hands. But it costs a bunch of skill points. So I think I should most likely save up for this although it does require agility oh no we have we got the agility we've got pretty reasonable agility so this is good all right let's keep rolling then i'm saving my mutation points i'll pick up this boulder as long as yeah i could carry 420 pounds so let's get even more boulders we're good we're good at lifting stuff nothing to explore huh let's go let's hit down all right there's a camp for us and uh we have we're fine food wise <laughs> yeah pretty much you know what i mean um i think creativity what i'll do is just download like you know the lazy new pack or something and just get a cool tile set and roll it uh here's a cannibal and they're coming at us um oh i don't have these equipped let me equip these boulders oh all right maybe i can't equip it um oh it is thrown right you don't have a missile weapon equipped Oh, you got to use T to throw a boulder, right? 
All right, we missed. We killed it. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh, I bet it was, um, Alex. I bet it was because, uh, the original, there was a predecessor to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. I think it was called Lindley's Crawl, maybe, or something like that. And it was around in the 90s. And it was ASCII, so it would look DOS-like, and it had hunger. Um, so it very well could have been. Here's that bow. All right, fine. This guy's running away. You're not allowed to do that. All right, what do we got? What do we got? He's got a tunic... And he's got a dagger and an axe and a bow. Now we're talking. Hey, Dylan, good evening. It, you know what? That's a great point, creativity. It, um, Alex, it could have just been rogue, you know, like the original roguelike. Uh, all right, so let's throw some of this stuff on. Um, let me go to my... Arms. All right, so in our... Well, we don't need this torch. Um, I'm going to equip a battle axe. And then uh, that's my whole left hand is the battle axe. And then in the upper hand, we can put this dagger. Yes. Now we've got weapons in every slot. You know, this character doesn't have charge, which would be nice. Yes, Casimir, that's what it was called. Linley's Dungeon Crawl. That's what it is. Thank you, my friend. I, I feel like that was like 1996, like, or something to that effect. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yes, I'm planning on doing all of that. All right, this, this dude is not being friendly, um, so we're going to go ahead and shield slam him. We knocked him prone, and he's he's hitting us actually pretty reasonably, but he's badly wounded. Oh, God. Man, I'm having bad luck. Like, what is going on? Um, this, I'm, my character shouldn't be getting hurt. This, I guess I just didn't get good armor by a snap jaw brute. Oh no, the seed spitting vine. So this vine is shooting its seed through the snap jaw, not hitting it, and it crit me. No, yeah, it's been the vine like most of this time, actually. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. Um. Oh, and I'm in defensive stance, which is poor. Okay. We need to run away and hope that we don't get killed by the spitter. Now that time, the the, the seed spitter hit one of the snap jaws. Yeah. Oh, hey, Crimson Harvest. Good evening. You're right. My armor got cleaved. That's not helping either, right? My armor value is one. So that's that's abysmal. So everything that's going on right now is terrifying. I have no healing to speak of. Uh, so let's run. Yeah, they really are. The plants are so dangerous in this. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go to the staircase up. And let's go up and let's rest. All right. We didn't die, which is tremendous. Okay, so let's... Um, Let's reevaluate our equipment. So, if I want the bow equipped, I can do that. And then, uh, quivered would be these wooden arrows. Okay, that's that's all I've got. Uh, but it's better than nothing. All right, and our armor. Um, is still cracked, so it, it'll take some more time to recover. We definitely need to find better armor. That would be tremendous. 
All right, let's go back down. No, no, no. Oh, we are down. Okay, great. Uh, we, we're hungry, so let's go eat. Oh, there's hostile creatures nearby? Oh, yes, there are. Oh, my God. Look at that. That seed spitter just ripped us apart. And... All right, well, we eat food. We're good. Oh, nice creativity. Uh, I think maybe you're right about that, Fading. I mean, I started with a sword, right? Let's look at it. 